You may expect wayward balls when you live next to a golf course, but some Sacramento neighbors have had enough. We're talking broken sunroofs, damaged solar panels, and cars that will now have enough dimples they look like golf balls themselves. CBS 13's Marley Ginter went straight to the top to get answers. Marley? Oh, that's right. The problem, they say they were getting the runaround about who to go to. You see, the golf course is owned by the city, but run by Morton Golf. So I went to both and got some answers. A nice swing on the green, but if that ball doesn't end up in the hole, chances are they're getting picked up next door. And the damage is bad. There's a fence between the Bing Maloney Golf Complex and this neighborhood, but that's not enough to stop a long shot. And these balls zip in at 100 miles an hour where it could possibly knock one of us out. Yeah, I'm taking a chance every time I get out there that I'm not going to get hit, and that's what I'm afraid of. Potential damage to our solar panels. We have broken windows. Marvell Wilson reached out to CBS 13, fed up. We've tried numerous ways to to negotiate with the golf course and we have not gotten any response. They're concerned something won't get done. You know, nets won't get put up, barriers won't get put up, and this will just keep happening again and again. So what we first need to do is verify that it's happening again and again. We I went to, to Terry Dahlberg, president of Morton Golf. He says he wants to see the damage, urging residents to fill out a damage report. Neighbors not convinced. Here, here. This is the bad one here because it broke the paint. Saying they've dealt with the damage long enough. Are you a good neighbor? Are you a responsible neighbor? Well, we better be. Uh, we preach it all the time. We are stewards of the city and we want to treat the uh, golf courses correct and the neighbors correct. Definitely. So you heard it, city owned or not, Morton Golf takes responsibility for any damage. They just want to be able to investigate so they can decide whether or not they need to put up big barriers or even move the hole altogether so the balls don't go in that direction. You can bet those residents will hold them to it.